way onto the Ego B20 connecting rod. Let's start with this micrometer. It's accurate to 0 0.0001 of an inch. We really do suggest taking the initial free length measurements of the rod bolts in the beginning before even torquing them. This way it becomes a reference point once it has been run hard and gets to its next rebuild. Here is our stretch cage. We will show you how it attaches to the rod bolt by itself. Once it's there, you gotta zero out the dial gauge and that becomes your zero point. We always keep a stash of ARP fastener lube and you guys can order that from ARP directly. We got a few Joe Gibbs driven assembly grease, Crower cam lube, Turco lube, and even webcam lifter lube. It's just important for our bearings, that's why. Something worth sharing. Here's a set of Type R B18C rods. Notice the rod bolts have dimples. They are for the rod bolt stretch gauge to attach to. Interesting. Even for Honda, when it comes to the Type R, they do stretch them and our stretch gauge works perfect with it. No wonder the Type R's are quite durable. Here we will show you an old footage on their assembly line. Yes, it's stretched, but theirs is a digital stretch gauge. Such baller. To show the importance of fastener lube, under head friction takes 60%. Thread friction takes 30%, so only 10% goes to the tension or the tightness of the bolt. After these diagrams, we'll show you something interesting. Here is a comparison between clean and lubed to dry and rusty. If you torque it to 40 foot pounds, it's equivalent to almost 2,000 pounds of bolt tension. But when it's clean and lubed, it's over 5,000. That's probably why we see a lot of busted head gaskets and broken head studs. Back to the Eagle rods. We double check it's zero once the connecting rod is secure in the vise, ready to be checked and torqued referenced via stretch. It's zero. All right, just to show you guys how important every detail is, here we will torque the rod to Eagle suggested 43 feet pounds. Dry, no lube, and see the stretch target. Wow, just 0 0.0040, that's not enough. Now we will try with regular engine oil as lube. Okay. 0 0.0045 still needs more now it's time for the ARP fastener lube hmm nice um that's really how fast my hands are Here we are now torquing it to 43 foot pounds and check stretch. Let's hope it's good. Let's hope it's enough. Um, hmm. Oh, 0 0.0058. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Even on B20 stock rods with ARP rod bolts zeroed out, 
Notice the treads and base are lavishly applied with ARP lube and then stretched. Looks good. Here, a B18C with girdle, there is still space for the stretch gauge. We do the same for the D-Series sock. And for the locals that need this, we can order for you guys. Just message us at our shop page. Links will be in the description below. Thank you, and I hope this was some good help for you guys. And remember, torque burns rubber, not your bearings. We will continue next with plastic gauge checking and many more. So stay tuned.